So they just got done revealing everything for the Campus Hero promo coming out today. And they did it, I don't want to say they did it a little differently than how they've done it in the past. They kept some of the same stuff like this card you're looking at on screen is RG3. Is the actual upgradable car through the field pass with uh, the stickers like how they did I think last year was Tim Tebow. So like they still kept some of that same stuff with the promo. But they still, the promo is still a little different. When I think about the Campus Hero promo, we get like... 20 for example how i think it should have went or how we assumed it would have went you were going to get like 20 some 87 overalls and then that one master 88 overall then the campus hero promo is just like any other normal promo and i'm pretty sure we're not getting a part two to it because next week they already said we're getting ultimate kickoff am i a little disappointed that we're getting one eagle by the way this is the only eagle we got tj edwards what does this guy contribute to the team i'm definitely a little disappointed we didn't get any eagles but I mean, I like some of the names they dropped. Like, they dropped some really big names. We're going to go through them all and look at them and talk about some of the abilities they get and stuff. I'm just a little disappointed that they kind of just made it like a regular promo because another thing that was always cool about the Campus Hero promo was, like, you would see a lot of guys that you would probably never see in MUP because they weren't very good in the NFL, but they were really good in college. It was just, like, just, you know, college legends we remember. I mean, a lot of these guys, all these guys they dropped would have got cards regardless. So, I was just expecting a little more. I'm also probably just disappointed we got no Eagles. But we're going to go over these cards, talk about the promo a little bit. Like, this is what I'm talking about right here. Like, Sean Taylor would have got a card regardless now to be fair i will say this they never really at least the last couple years they have not dropped sean taylor early like we've had to wait to almost christmas to get sean taylor which is really crazy but i mean this sean taylor card looks really good until you look at his man coverage so like if you're somebody that like kind of you know sometimes i man my safeties up like this guy like sean taylor would be a really good user but i don't know i, I mean like if you strictly only play zone then i guess you could put him back there as safety but 55 man covered this crazy man also showed bo jackson another guy who would have like see what i'm saying like these they just dropped like big time names so like i said i'm not mad at these cars these are all really nice cars i like the names it's just you wouldn't have really expected this for the campus heroes but bo jackson does look nasty and he gets pretty much every running back ability that you could possibly get right now i'm talking jukebox bulldozer running back apprentice i think they even said he gets a leapfrog it's definitely interesting though he has 83 carrying which is a little low so i'm not sure if that'll play a factor, probably not, though, because you're not even going to be able to tackle this guy. This is the kind of card I would have expected for Campus Heroes. Uh, Manti T, I think I how you say his name. I actually remember Manti T. I don't remember why. Like, these are the kind of cards I would, you know, I was expecting for the Campus Hero promos. It's like, I don't know. I don't know why. I feel like they, they, they were going to do it like this, but they just changed at the last minute. I don't know. I truly think it's because 2K is getting ready to come out, and they're just trying to get people hooked to stay on Madden. I mean, I don't that's the only thing I can think of, honestly. I'm not gonna lie, for a middle linebacker, this man tied seal looks really nasty. Like, I actually think I, I might get him, to be honest. Because, like I said, we only got TJ Edwards today. I'm, there's no point in me picking that card up. So, I think I. I might get this man tied seal, man. I'm not gonna lie. They showed us this right guard, uh, Logan Mankins. I mean, look, man, I, I don't know. I don't know who this guy is. RG3, like I said in the beginning of the video, you actually, so he'll start at the 79 and you can upgrade him to an 87 uh, through the field pass. I think the field pass goes up a level uh, through 11 levels. I can show you real quick. This is the field pass. This is level 11. This is level 6. Uh, basically, where is it at? It's the helmet stickers. These helmet stickers you get will upgrade him and you get him up to an 87. Now, RG3 doesn't really get any good abilities like the best ability he gets is jukebox like the only throwing he gets like i think lofting dead eye but it's like man that ability ain't gonna do nothing man i mean the only thing rg3 has that kind of makes up for him not like getting any throwing abilities is i mean he's fast he's got 87 speed i mean it's interesting to see how good this card is gonna be because we all know first of all free card and madness usually never a very good card i mean sometimes it is but sometimes it ain't so this is the set for the 88 uh in order to create it you need 84 to 85 you need four or not four five 84 to 85s to make the 88 so i would assume these guys probably aren't gonna be a crazy amount to be honest i don't know we'll see also have i guess core gold campus heroes like 79 overall cards uh which we did not get to see so i guess we'll have to wait for them to come out i guarantee we'll probably see an eagle in that don't be surprised we literally pretty much, I mean, we're not the only ones that get anybody like there. Well, I, technically we did get somebody, but I guess there's some teams that literally got nobody. So this is basically an exchange that you put 76 to 77 overalls in here. 
and you can get a core gold uh, 79 campus hero and for this one uh, for this set to get an 81 because they also have 81 overall campus heroes I guess I could show you those guys also but you put three 79 uh, campus heroes in there and you get one 81 campus heroes which I'm not gonna lie some of these 81 overall campus heroes are like budget beasts and look at this Malik Willis 81 overall and the guy's got 86 speed 85 throw power and his accuracies aren't bad only besides his medium accuracy and his throw under pressure it's an 81 this is an 81 overall, Taekwon Thornton, 87 speed, and everything else sucks, but the guy's got 87 speed. Eric Stokes, 87 speed. If you run like dollar, or if you want to just use Eric Stokes as like a blitzer, he's going to go crazy. They also showed some 85s as well. We got this 85 Ryan Kelly, this 85 uh, Kenneth Walker, which of course Seahawks, another card, which you know what's funny? They actually needed a running back. Well, I guess they, I'm not going to say they needed one. They had Franco Harris, but... Uh, now they just have another running back and this card is actually going to be really good on a Seahawks team team So of course they get another card show this Christian Kirk, which isn't too bad It's just funny when you see Taekwon Thornton his 81 overall and has one more speed in them Which is just crazy, but obviously Christian Kirk is a little bit more well-rounded you know, Kind of I guess 80 deep route run 80 medium. I mean you would hope he'd have better route running I'm not gonna lie since literally I like, Taekwondo Thorne is 87 speed, so this guy's got to have better route runner, man. They showed Lyle Collins, who's got a 73 pass block finesse. Javon Curse is going to destroy him. We got Deshaun Elliott. This guy is, I don't know. I mean, he's got good zone, but he's kind of like another, oh, I mean, Sean Taylor is 55, man, so I guess it's not that bad, but they showed a Dory Jackson, who's got 87 speed. Uh, he's really just a man, he can play man coverage, but you can't press him, so he's kind of like, he's kind of like another Dion, but then he's got 79 play rec, so that's, that is, that's terrible. Showed Sam Hubbard, who's got 74 strength. All these 85s have like really, really big weaknesses to them, like, I mean, holy. Greatest one of them all, TJ Edwards. What does this guy contribute to the football field? So this 85 right here the michael mayor uh you actually get this guy from completing the challenges this is a free card if you play all the campus hero challenges you will get him for free and i will 100 percent be playing these this is the 85 speed tight end with actually some solid route running this guy is on the team now you know right now i'm using dallas goddard and pitts he would probably have to take Goddard's spot. Now, I don't know if I'd actually get rid of Goddard because I'd probably have to put Mayor and like specialist and sub men because I'm, like I said, I'm right on the line with that 50 out of 50. So, but I'm I'm definitely getting this card. This card looks pretty nice. I don't, I don't even know who this guy is. That's pretty much all the cards they revealed though. Uh, This last set they showed right here. Last set right here is, so you put in 881 overall campus heroes and you would get 185. And that's pretty much the last set. This very last thing we have to look at here is they did give us a preview of the Legends. I don't know if they usually do this on Thursdays. They usually do this to us. They usually give this to us like early on Friday or something. And then they reveal like the Friday night. But from what I see right here on this far left, this is definitely a Bronco. It could be maybe like Shannon Sharp or I don't know. The middle one, two people I think it could be. It could be a Bill and it could be like Bruce Smith or it could be a Giant and be like Lawrence Taylor or maybe Carl Banks. Far right, people are saying it's an Eagle. It's an Eagle. I don't see an Eagle. Uh, honestly, I see a Raider looking at the jersey and the jersey number has that little gray in there. But it still could be Eagle, maybe Nobni Asuma, but to me, this is like a Raider. I mean, I think maybe because they see this little background part and they think it's maybe it's an Eagle. Maybe it is Eagle, but I don't know. I personally see Raider or I don't I don't know. I see Raiders. You guys let me know what you see in these blurred out images. If you guys do want me to do more videos like this in the future where I kind of cover stuff going over the new promos and stuff, I can do it. I just don't know if you guys are into that, so let me know down in the comments. But that's pretty much the Campus Hero promo, man. It's going to go live, I think, about 1.30 Eastern. I was originally going to go live with it, you know, if we got some Eagles, but we didn't, so I... I it's not gonna happen i'm probably just gonna be live in my normal time today you guys are not actually following the twitch link link to that is down in the description man we stream on twitch every single day if you want to see me just you know get on madden uh i grind madden a lot i actually grind i even grind other people's accounts uh i mean there is a payment involved I, people pay me to grind their accounts but uh gameplay I actually have dropping a day is on someone's account today who had drone bettis the bus is legit let me know what you guys think about this campus hero promo overall i was definitely hoping to get just more cards overall and just uh i don't know i mean like i said it has some really nice names i was just expecting a little bit more to be honest the cards did get bumped up in overall so i mean i guess there is that honestly just disappointed man that there was uh no actual eagles